Hello there, everyone. This is Quiversy, and welcome back to Soldiers. Last time, we dove into the Happen Sewers in order to figure out what was going on with the earthquakes, because those are somehow related. And with the help of our new friends, the Fies, as well as our old friend, Balaf, and his little pig bombs, we have made it to the Sunken Laboratory, where Badril, who is apparently some kind of legend from the people, from the Fies people's uh, planet, uh, he's holed up in here somewhere. And we're trying to find him to reverse a curse or something that transforms the Fies. I don't understand it all the way myself. All I know is we got to be down here for a number of reasons. And thanks to the Fies, we can now go underwater. Yo, oh, okay. Yeah, we got a couple of the fish monsters up there. If I remember right, they're called the Broge. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, oh. And I'm gonna go up here. Oh, okay, you decided to come down. Thanks for joining me. Got him. Yeah, I wonder. Okay, so yeah, when, oh, hello. Uh, we learned that um, using electricity underwater electrocutes it. Shocking, I know, but I wasn't sure if it counted for these water spouts or not. And turns out the answer is it doesn't. Sorry if I seem a little disjointed right now. My, I don't know. I've been in a weird headspace today and it has been unbearably hot. So, yeah, I'm having a, having a bit of a hard time, but I still wanted to get some recording done today. So here we are. <laughs> All right. Well, the only other thing I know right now is that we need to, in order to further progress through the ladder, thank you. In order to further progress through the sunken lab, I gotta find security card keys. We've currently got the level one card key, but there's at least three more levels that we've seen and I can't carry anymore. So that potion is just gonna sit there. Hold that thought. Sorry about that, minor interruption. Um, oh yeah, I suppose I should also mention, uh, during one of the last parts, I was kind of musing that maybe they had updated the game or something because of the one quest that was bugged out fixing itself, and they have. And this one seemed to be more about addressing the concerns that people have had that the game was maybe made a little bit too easy because they, not only did they rear back a couple of their changes, so like, I think, one of the changes that's actually pertinent to me is... Ooh, hold on. Ice electric earring. I think I've seen that before. Uh, but one of the changes that per is pertinent to me is that it, like... I think that the wizard's homing attacks are a little less homing or something, which I haven't really felt it as too big of an issue before. Oh, okay. That's not bad. But I want to keep my uh, treasure finding birdie. Uh, but the other thing is that they added a new difficulty mode. Uh, which I believe is called Master. And it's basically meant to try to replicate what Warrior Mode was before the um, rebalance changes. And I can respect that, you know? They're trying to... They're, they're not... They're, not they're, they're trying to accommodate as many people as they can without breaking their game. Truth be told, I'd be more than happy to switch to Master Mode. Except for one little thing, uh, and that if I go here and I hold, press right to try and do it, it'll, uh, disable achievements, and that's not really the biggest deal in the world, but I don't want to disable them. I don't know. It, it feels like a weird reason not to when I say it out loud, but I care enough about it that I don't want to disable, disable them, uh, just for the sake of a little bit more difficulty. That's probably just something I'll experience on my own time uh, after this playthrough when I inevitably go through this game again, because I fully intend to as like another class or something. But again, that'll be for my own time. Uh, so this room exists and I can't go past there. So what's down below? Science tubes. Some of them with fish. Others are empty and broken. 
And that button opens that door. Of course it does. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we got some barrage coming out of the tubes. Wait for it. They're both going to break. No? Okay, I thought they were both going to break out for a minute there. Okay, so I already did this once. I can do it again. Oop, okay. I still don't know why those explode with when I hit them with electricity, but I kind of love it. Especially when the, the ones on, like, the tower there were just spun violently. It's great. Okay, so now I guess I'm just in the upper section of this lab here. Oh, you are absorbing that. Okay. Never use lightning on a seahorse. They will consume its energy. There we go. Uh, so I guess I want to hit this to turn off the water. That's a yes. All right. My little bird friend. Oh, I see it. I have to say, my little bird friend has been uh, commenting on treasure nearby. And it was right here. A regen vial. Sweet. Uh, and of course, I got a whole boatload of shrimp in the water. There we go. Come on. Out of the water. There. All right. Let's get all the money. And a safe sword. Okay. Oh, geez. I just now noticed that shark creature. That is genuinely terrifying. Well done. Uh, okay. Looks like I might be able to drop down from there at some point. Hello. Wait, that's the water orb. That is definitely the water orb right there in that tube. The floodgate doesn't have a card reader. Will we be able to open it? Bayou, let the important people speak. Why don't you just talk to yourself? I was referring to the soldier man here. What do you think? It looks like that capsule contains something with several connections. Perhaps if we break it, it'll cause a system failure in the door. Break things. Seriously, chief. Go on, try it. Oh, I'll do it. Because I want water orb. Give water. Yes! We are now a water wizard! The glacial orb, or an ice wizard, whatever. Let's just carry out the elemental water attacks. Okay, so it is water. I can use it to interact with hydro bubbles or luminous pools. I knew it. I knew that those would be water element based. I mean, it's not like it's hard to, co to put that connection there, but you know. Although I am confused why it constantly switches back and forth between ice and water. Whack. It didn't work. Uh, wait, Chief. You look different. And those hydro bubbles have appeared. I was just about to mention that, of course. Mr. Soldier Man, you feel different, right? Try using that energy on the hydro bubbles. We'll find another way. Uh, come on, Mayu. Don't linger. Okay. So we now have a water orb, which means that the other captain was not in possession of water. Bubbles! We have a bubble wand! <laughs> okay, so what happens when I hit... Oh. It's a freaking barrel cannon? Okie dokie. Like this. Up we go! So now I'm on a new level. Can't go that way. Alright, well I could continue going up, but I want to... Take a look over here. Nope. Okay. I guess up it is. Oh, okay. We're dealing with moving bubbles. Oh! And I miss. Wait for it now. Okay. Up. Like that. So how do we use a luminous pool? We turned into a little slime boy? So these tunnels, they're for more than just the pig bombs. They're also for us as a freaking slime? I gotta 
admit, I didn't expect that. Oh, and I can dodge too. That's neat. Okay, okay. Got some more Ragnarite. That's nice. Um, so do we just... How do I... Oh. Okay, so I push X to undo. Or Y. I basically push attack. But I can't go through that door, so I'm gonna have to do something there. I, just, I still can't get over the fact that we just transform into a slime. And that's how we interact with this. That, that is amazing. All right. Water power! I don't care that you're resilient. I just want to do a kill something with water. Oh, I spy. Okay, I guess we're going in this the way. Uh oh. Okay, well, you are definitely going to absorb it. There we go. Let's get your money. There we go. Okay, once again. What? Water. And that away, and that away, and that away, and that away, and that away. So, I suppose I should mention that the way the water works when I'm in the bubble, the water, the, the water, the aiming works when I'm inside those bubbles. Yeah, and I die. Uh, but the way the aiming inside those bubbles, it feels a little bit weird, if I'm being honest. Because, like, it snaps at the cardinal directions pretty handily. But then it goes to the, uh, oh, geez, I'm all the way back here. But then it, like, when I'm doing the edge, the edges, like, you know, you can kind of see it, it snaps in and then... It's like, it feels like I have to overcompensate my moves. It's not unbearable, mind you. It's, it just takes a little getting used to. Ah, uh, no, 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 uh. Okay. Then we, up. Oh. Okay, hold. Let's go back this way, get the treasure. Yeah, I've got to get all the treasure I didn't get before. I mean, I'm full up on ammo, so. Oh, neat. I, I, I kind of glossed over that now we have our dash, we have our air dash too. Which is a little weird if you think about it. I mean, the only reason we have an air dash is because of a freaking. I mean, it's basically a jet pack, right? Get out of there. So. That just means we can use our jetpack as a slime. It's a little strange, but it is to my benefit. So. So I guess it works. <laughs> okay. Get rid of the bradge. And no shrimpy? Okay, no shrimpy. Uh, like that and like that and like this okay whoa we're safe we're safe go away mr shrimpy oh we got a tux we got ourselves a toxic seahorse right here okay well he's gonna go that way ah. hey, why do the shrimps have to be resistant to sand oh Hello, Mr. Parasite, and goodbye. Let's get your health. So I can turn into a slime here. I don't believe that would help me much, but I do want to test something. Okay, even though these platforms are great, I can still send on them with... Oh, well, I had to be a slime to go through here. But yeah, those platforms are great, so I figured maybe I wouldn't be able to go through them as a slime. Luckily, I was wrong. Okay. Well, I guess that pool's just for a return trip, because I don't think I can climb a ladder as a slime. Oh, that's a lot of shrimp! That is a lot of shrimp! Come on, get over here, get over here, get over here. Boom! Oh, wait. Uh, well, let's heal first and foremost. I could have sworn I was on fire mode. No, I was on sand. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. 
Get them all caught up in one big explosion. Oh, it's more bubble cannons. Ugh, boy. I am going to get in that stupid cannon. There we go. And up and across those jets of water. Obviously, they would push me. I don't know if they would hurt. Oh. Okay, I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Okay, we are slime. Uh, slime goes whatever direction it wants. I guess it doesn't really matter here. Okay. Anything here? No. I guess slime gets treasure then. That's great. Okay. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Wasn't... I think I know where I am. Wasn't there another um, tiny hole with a grate not too far from here? I feel like there was... <laughs> I didn't even think about the slime pulling out a map, but... That... I love it. I love that the slime can pull out a map. Yeah, right here. Oh, they like us. It's a shame they're all spiky, because then they wouldn't hurt us, but they like us. They like Slimy Boy. Where is the slime keeping that map? I have to wonder. Oh, I guess the same place he keeps his jetpack. Can't, oh, can't get that, that, can't get the potion, because I never use those. Ugh, man. Oh. I know I could transform. And in fact, I will. Because there's nothing else for me here. Whoa, okay. I, I gotta remember also that I cannot double jump out of the cannon. There we go. Yeah, bubble cannon does not allow double jumps. I did get a level up, though. So, that's good. I killed Seahorse. What do we got here? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing but money, and and life energy, as is normal. I don't know why I was actually expecting something different there. Uh oh. Okay, I was hoping he was gonna come down because he was. I would rather not deal with that broj. Of course, more water. Oh jeez, it's gonna be just off kilter. Uh, at least I don't really have a time limit or anything when I'm doing this. That would be bad. I did see a treasure chest up above. There we go. Give me treasure! Restoration potion. Okay, that works. And there's a treasure over there. I have an idea, but I want to test it somewhere I can do a little safety. Yes, it will work. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Drop, dash, jump! I love that. I love that. The Atrox plate. Scales on this plate of previously adorned suits of armor worn by nefarious warlords for generations. How is that? Probably, I mean, I'm not gonna change that for Pitch's whistle, but I wanna see it. Atrox plate. Chance to poison and defense against poison with mediocre stats. Not too surprising, honestly. Oh, while well, I'm at it. Okay, I only have one relic. I thought so. I couldn't remember if I whoa, leveled up in the last one or not. The answer is I did not. Ah, uh, jeez. Where am I now? Like, I genuinely don't know where I am. Yeah, I didn't think I could dash through that. Uh, okay. Huh. How would I get up there? I don't think I'm meant to get up there from here. I think that's a... I think that's a return tube. Oh, wait. No, no. I have no words for what I just did. Whoa! Hello! Okay. 
Okay, we have ourselves a new challenger. An ice witch, because, yeah, she's like summoning ice crystals. Um, okay. I'm not sure why, what the cutscene there was about. Oh! Checking card ID. Is this gonna upgrade it? Level two? Level two! Okay! Didn't expect that. So I guess that's how that's gonna work. I'm gonna get it through um, machines. And now I can traverse through the water here. Ah! No! Stop it, shrimps! Oh, I know where I am now. Yeah. Okay, well then that means I can just double back and uh, fix my mistake with that bubble cannon. Ooh. Dang it. No. This is what I mean about it overcompensating. Like, I was not trying to tilt it there when I hit the button. I'm literally just trying to do that. There. Ugh. Dang, bubble cannon. Oh. Right, it's not a straight shot. It's all off kilter. I did it right the first time, but it's by going like this. I guess on that one, it's a little bit finicky. Okay, fine. That's the only one I can do straight. Up. 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 Okay. I'm just... I was going to ignore the shrimp. Then it attacked me. And there were multiple for some reason. All right, so here's where I messed up. I saw them at like the last possible second. I should have known too. Okay, that doesn't lead to anything, but this does. Bubble! Leads to treasure! And that treasure is... Map! Nice, nice. Uh... I guess I will double back and meet you at that next two door, because this is going to take a little traversal. Uh, right here. Ah, looks like this leads to a treasure. Rockerite. Oh, that's not, oh, crotch, 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 crotch. That was close. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, here we are. I think we got a decent bit accomplished today. Managed to not only find the water orb, but upgrade our key card too. So, I guess I could go down here and fill out that little area. I'm, I'm getting ready to close things off for now. I just kind of want to get a feel for where I can go next. The whole two side rooms over there. There's a lot down here that I can't do yet. That's where I got the water orb itself. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think... I think I'll start by filling out just down this little area and then just go after these side paths. So, next time on Soldiers, that's what we're going to do. Till then, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.